Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at a project that I did live on Facebook this week, but I also like to post it here on YouTube for you guys who follow me here rather than there. It's this, it's a fantastic Christmas sun catcher with the four candles of Advent. We're also gonna be doing uh, later this week uh, for sale, a Christmas, an XL Marini Christmas mix available for sale. So you'll be able to get all of these Marini in one bundle rather than having to buy them individually, which I hope will help you with all your Christmas projects. So I'm now gonna show you how I made it the other day on Facebook. Hi, and welcome to live from Tabitha's Glass Emporium. Today we are gonna look at a little project I put together. We did some cool new um, XL Flame Marini. We've got these in a kind of orangey color and a red color, but today I'm gonna to use the new orange ones. Um, they're really pretty flames. Um, so I just wanted to do, um, Advent is really big in Croatia. They did have the, all, all the kind of villages have their Advent um, sort of displays and they have four candles on them, one they light each week for them for Advent and I kind of love it. So I wanted to do something using the idea of four candles. So I've created a little frame and I worked out how big I needed to make it. Um, if you come down here, I'm just gonna put it together. So for me, this is gonna be on a tack fuse. So I want to get the, um, these pieces sort of lined up first and they're going to create a little gap so that you can kind of hang a ribbon through it um, to hang it on a ribbon. Um, so those will go like so. Then we've got some candles. Now, um, Miller has very kindly cut these for me. As you can see, she's done a kind of scoop here. These are two, two layers of two mil. Um, and she's done a little scoop, and the nice thing is it kind of creates a little candle shape. Now I'm going to put these pushed right against the bottom layer of glass, and then with a couple of, you know, one mil layers of fibre paper, which we can put on there, then we can put a candle, the flame like that, and we've got a little candle, which is like super cute. Um, I'm just going to get the other ones in place. Otherwise, it looks like a bit too much like bigger to smallest. I like them kind of going up and down. Oh, they're going to do it. It's going to look that way, this way anyway. Okay, well, sorry guys, I'm making a little bit of a hash of this. Bear with me. neat as I'd like. So I'm trying to go quickly to show you. It's the end of the day here. We're nearly at finishing up time. Everyone's going to want to go home to their families. So I'm just trying to get this quickly done before my team start heading out for an evening. So that's kind of nice and neatly on. Um, I think those look really lovely, the little candles. Now I kind of want to decorate it. I definitely want to make sure that at the bottom here, there's a join between the candles and the bottom so they hold together. So I'm using some of our XL Holly. Um, the lighter one is called Young Holly. And then these are just the basic red rainbow Marini as berries. And then I'm going to put some, put some darker Holly on. Poncettas. These are our new poncetta shapes, which are really kind of fun. And we've got some little ordinary round marini ones as well. And I'm going to finish up with some light Murray um, of the holly. Some more berries. And I think I'll probably decorate the edge here. I hope 
you guys take a bit more time with yours than I'm taking with mine, but I just wanted to show you the kind of idea. So the idea definitely at the bottom was to make sure we got a good join between the um, the candles and the um, and the kind of base. And the rest is just sort of decoration as you want. You can put as little or as much on as you feel you like. Um, so you kind of get the idea. This is how it's looking. I'm going to maybe add a little bit more. I'm going to add a, a star and maybe some bells. Um, but I'm. I think you kind of get the idea of it. Um, maybe a couple of little robins at the top. But I'm going to keep decorating it and then I'll put it in the kiln and I'll post tomorrow how it looked when it came out. But that's the idea and I hope you like this little idea um, getting us all in the mood for Christmas. It's my birthday coming up and I refuse to do Christmas until my birthday's over. But I don't think I can get away with that when I work for somewhere that we want to get Christmas ideas out to you so you have a time chance to make them before Christmas comes. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little idea. And uh, you know, if you have, follow us. We'll keep posting live videos on Facebook a bit more regularly these days. And we'll also upload this to YouTube for all the rest of you who follow on YouTube. So you can have a look at this and give it a go if you want. Take care for now and we'll see you again soon.